Hey, good morning, everybody. How are you? I'm Rita Hickman, body mind expert and Shiatsu massage therapist. And this week I'm sharing tools. If you happen to be looking for a job or thinking about looking for a job or considering looking for a job and great tools, which help you have some uh, confidence about what you want to be doing. Okay. So if you don't know who I am, I'm a body mind expert. I'm a Shiatsu massage therapist. And my specialty is helping women who are dealing with burnout, especially in their you know, 40s, 50s, and 60s. And uh, sometimes changing a job can be the perfect thing to do because there may be a lot of other things in your life you can't control. And because you can't control them, finding a new job and uh, becoming the sort of person that a new job would want you to have, this is a great topic for this week. You know, because sometimes we end up feeling stuck or trapped without the ability to make any sort of change. Hey, Kathy. And uh, because of that, it's always really helpful to have some guidance and clarity and tools. So when I was uh, looking to change careers, change my life, uh, probably about 10 years ago or so, 10, 11 years ago, um, I had no idea what I wanted to do. I was completely changing careers. I said, I gotta get out of this stuff. I was working for the government. I gotta do something different. What do I do? I do, you know, I, I was working a part-time job at the time, you know, because I was in between careers and uh, I was helping a chiropractor. I was her admin and I was like, wow, these people are kind of crazy. Healers are kind of crazy. And I don't know if I like working for them, uh, but that was something I was passionate about healing. And so I decided I needed to become the healer and I needed to go back to school. And uh, that's how I ended up in Shiatsu and coaching. So, but how did I find Shiatsu in the first place? So what I did is I pulled out my tarot cards. Now at the time, I knew nothing about tarot cards, except that I had them, and, um, but I didn't know how to read them. But I thought, well, maybe it'll give me some insight, some clarity, some something. Hey, uh, Marinelle, it'll give me something that, uh, that I can grasp onto, at least to get me thinking. And so I pulled out my tarot cards. Now, since then, I've discovered, let me make sure my cards are perfect. Since then, I've discovered that you don't need tarot cards because what typically tarot cards or, or oracle cards, typically what they do is they open up a door to your subconscious. They're able to tell you what you're thinking. And we talked about yesterday and the day before how your subconscious is constantly gathering information from all of your senses from what you see, smell, hear, all of these different priorities are going on in your subconscious that you're not even aware of, that your conscious mind is, is clueless about. So the best way to kind of get clarity is to tap into your subconscious and have a conversation with it to get a better understanding of what's going on in there. Because some of what's in that, in that discussion going on in your head is uh, your fears and your old beliefs and your old ideas. So some of those things are in the background and they can be very loud voices which make a lot of decisions for us. And that's what they call self-sabotage is when our fears or our old beliefs or limiting beliefs create, um, uh, make our decisions for us because most decisions are based from an emotional level. Okay, so really, uh, one of the favorite things for me to use now are regular old playing cards. Regular old playing cards. Because the point of these cards is not to, um, is not to uh, give us the answer, it's to give us clarity, to help us make a good decision, to help us balance you know, um, our subconscious with our conscious rational mind and make the best decision possible. Because if you only allow your subconscious, your intuition to make a decision, it can make a pretty bad decision based on something that happened to us a long time ago or old beliefs or fears that we carry. But if we balance out our subconscious with our conscious mind, if we bring it out of the darkness, out of the, you know, out of the gray, then that's when we're whole. That's when we're working on the same on the same level. So how do I use regular old playing cards in order to help me decide um, if this is a right job for me, if, if this is a, a good career change for me, uh, to actually answer anything, you know, what the, what the next step would be. So 
You take them, you shuffle them, no exciting, mystical, magical way, unless you want to, unless in your mind you've got some sort of magical way you want to do it. And then I will put them down. I've got a little table in front of me. And I'll say, okay, <clears throat> what do I need to know right now about um, changing my career? And I'll pick a card. I've got nine, nine of uh, the clovers, okay? So what it says to me is I need to pick something that's very nature-based, very natural, um, to a high degree, because it's a nine, um, but it shouldn't be the whole thing. It shouldn't be everything. It should just be, I need to be spending more time in nature and picking a job that helps me spend more time in nature because that helps me feel level. Okay, so that might be the thing that I know. Now, your interpretation of this card will be different from mine because it's not about having the right answer. It's about tapping into your subconscious and seeing what you're thinking and feeling. Then I might say something, what are some of the blocks that are getting in the way of me making this change, making this career change. Two of hearts. What that says to me is that it's relationships and emotions. Relationships that I have with people right now, emotional relationships that I have pe with people are keeping me stuck, are keeping me from moving forward uh, and making the change. Okay, so now I might pull a third card and I might say, um, well, how how can I make this change? What's the next step in making this change? Pull a third card. This one is four of spades. So four of spades to me means balance. The four to me means balance. And the spades bring me back to nature and it brings me uh, something that feels very solid. Spades always feel very grounding and, and solid to me. So I need to get grounded. I need to get back into nature. Um, and I need to find this balance. And that's what will help me take the next step. Okay. All right. <clears throat> then I might ask the question, um, am I on the path that's in my best interests? And it says ace. Ace of clovers again. So the ace to me is a resounding yes. I am on the right path. I'm doing the right things. I'm making sure that I get grounded. I'm making sure that that uh, I get my needs met so that my emotions, remember we had two of hearts, my emotions get out of my way so that I can get back to nature, I can get reconnected again and uh, feel more fulfilled. So that's what this would mean to me. So this is how I use things in my life, cards, tarot cards, signs, symbols, whatever. I ask specific questions and then I pull a card and uh, see what it tells me. Now, sometimes when I pull a card, um, I need to ask myself, is this uh, my fear? Is this my limiting belief? Is this you know, my old memory that's getting in the way? Or, or is this accurate? Because remember, the cards are telling you what you're thinking. They're not necessarily telling you um, the absolute gospel truth. They're telling you what's going on in your mind. So I might ask myself, um, let's see, what... What do I really, uh, what am I most afraid of? Let's see, I'll pull a card. And this might be three of, I don't have to give as much obsession with uh, worrying about the emotional parts of my relationships, okay? So this is how I use cards or everyday objects in order to help me tap into what I'm thinking and what I'm feeling so I can make a balanced decision. So I don't have to, you know, make it up or worry or wonder. I can actually get some clarity around what I should do next. Okay? So I ask that you comment, like, love, share, comment on other people's comments, and become a great part of this tribe because um, this is how we all kind of come together and start to make big changes in the world by becoming more centered and confident and present. Okay? Cool. So I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will talk to you later. Bye.